Hey guys, Donovan Questenberry here with DIV Cleaning Service. Um, we are out here doing a uh, gutter cleaning on this house. We are cleaning all the debris from the inside of the gutters. Um, and then we are also flushing out the underground drainage. Uh, I just started, um, you know, uh, flushing out these underground drains. This is the first one that I'm on. And uh, there's some indicators here that there's some funky stuff going on at this house. So I, I want to make a quick video. Um, just share it with you guys and, and hopefully if you guys come across this you can kind of tell what's going on um, So let me go ahead and make this video and you'll, you'll hopefully it'll help you see what to look out for if you're on a job like this so What I have here is I started draining and I've uncovered a drain that was completely covered up underneath the ground There's another catch basin right here, but this one is completely covered up and it looks like she had sod put out because this is the material that holds sod together. Um, but there's a drain here that was just, whoever put down the sod just laid it right over top of a drain, added another drain right there. So I don't know if this is going to connect over here or how this is draining at all. But if these drains over here are tied into this catch basin, this catch basin isn't going anywhere. That's a common problem. All right. Uh, well, it's not a common problem, but it's a it's a serious problem. All right, so all these drains are tied into somewhere. Water has to go somewhere. Okay, you can't just cover up something and hope that it'll drain okay or drain properly. Something that we got going on back here. All right, again, when landscaping was done, they cut the pipe, and it goes nowhere. This right here goes nowhere. So. Um, so we got some problems at this house, uh, you know, unfortunately to dig everything up and redo it and, you know, it's just going to cost a lot more time, a lot more money. Um, try to hire a company that does this professionally, um, and knows what's going to go on in situations. It's kind of, you get what you pay for, um. But this, this drain system, you can see her backyard is all washed out. She's done river rock and everything else and trying to avoid all the water that's coming from the neighbor's house just pouring in hers. Um, but, uh, yeah, so guys, try to, try to do it right the first time. Um, when we come out here and we do these underground drain flushes and the gutter clean and everything else, when we notice issues, we try to report it to the homeowner right away. So that way maybe you can mitigate problems and, and do some preventive maintenance so that way we can do a repair on it and you don't have to do a bunch of wood rot replacement and everything else that's sort of our goal um, if you guys need help with any exterior cleaning in the north carolina area uh, feel free to send us a work request through our website uh, which is divcleaningservice.com talk to you guys soon hope you have a great day all right so you can see my jetter tip is hitting right here this right here is not connecting to the existing drain or the new drain. I have no clue where this is going. Um, one of my other pet peeves is that these right here come with screws. Don't put the screws in, okay? Just set the drain down in place, set the lid on here. Um, that way, every couple of months, you can just pop this thing up and clean out this catch basin, all right? This is all runoff from the yard, okay? It's supposed to collect in this drain here. Once it fills up to right here, you're gonna have all that debris start going down your pipe and clogging up your pipes. So you need to keep your catch basins clear. You need to come out here, you know, once or twice a year, scoop all this out. All right, now you're good to go. But if you have the screws in here, you know as well as I do that you're not gonna come out here with a screwdriver, unscrew this, and um, you know clean this out but if it doesn't have screws in it you can just pop it up when you cut the grass or when you blow the leaves you can clean it out real quick and call it a day now i'm going to run a uh, jetter hose through this as well but i have a feeling that this is just going to run here in here somewhere in the yard hopefully maybe it'll tie in to um maybe there's a y up here in this pipe but i will see if it connects hopefully it does um but with the way everything else is designed here, I have a feeling that this is just going to dead end somewhere in the yard and the, uh, it's not draining anywhere. But you never know. If this, this wasn't filled all the way up with water and we had an absolute monsoon yesterday. So hopefully it does connect with a Y connection into the, um, 
into where it daylights down here. We'll see. So good news is that it does connect to that other pipe. Um, you can see my jetter tip daylighting down there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave both of these open. That way uh, she has double the drainage because as you can see, there's still a tremendous amount of washout. Um, and, uh, and yeah, now both of these are clear and she should be good to go. All right, now she has double the drainage. All the muck that came out of here, I built a little berm right here to direct water in to uh, the drains right here. I'm going to suggest to her that all this river rock, if she doesn't already have it in here, uh, you take it up and you put a uh, French drain system going on the whole length of this. So you take up the rock, you put down uh, landscape fabric, you put down corrugated uh, plastic tubing, and you put down um, three quarter clean stone, um, and you fill it back in, you put the river rock on top. So that way all the water coming from the neighbor's yard will once it hits this little berm right here um you go ahead it'll, it'll seep down into that rock seep down into that pipe that pipe can tie into this drain as well and it can daylight uh down here and that way she can actually grow grass in her yard so that'll be my suggestion to her um it's going to be a big undertaking to connect that uh drain that's in the back but it could be done very you know you just got to go underneath the sidewalk and then dig a trench right along where there's a gap uh, for that planter bed um, so it could be done and you can tie into this downspout here uh, and get that drain in the back connected to this system and that should take care of all her water issues in this backyard and her whole yard will look like this over here instead of this right here this is the video of the inside of the pipe that is completely blocked with roots and there's no getting around it with the jetter unfortunately the pipe is damaged and the pipe is completely blocked Okay guys, uh, we are finished up at this house. I'm going to um, give the homeowner a phone call because she's not here and explain what's going on uh, with her different drainage system, give her a few options, um, and then I'll go ahead and send her a link to this video as well so that she can see exactly what we're talking about. And, uh, and yeah, so like I said, if you like the content that um, I'm putting out on this channel, please like, subscribe, leave us a comment, ask a question. If, uh, if I can help, I'm happy to help. And I'll finish up the video with my tip of how to wrap up the uh, jetter um, line so that it doesn't tangle. Uh, you got 100 feet here, and if you got a bunch of tangles in it, it'll start to kink up, and it's just a pain in the butt to unwind when you're trying to get to a job and get it done quick. So uh, the key here is to alternate your um, the loops, okay? And I'll show you exactly how I do it. regular way and then instead of going on top this is going underneath regular loop underneath regular loop underneath Regular loop. Underneath. Regular loop. Regular loop. finish with one going underneath all right you guys enjoy